Okay, um, someone asked me a question about food addiction uh, because if they, um, they otherwise they feel bored um, and it's, and then they think, well, I don't want to feel bored, so I'll have some food or I'll do something else, just don't want to feel bored. Um, and um, I don't want to do nothing. Yes, I want to fill the nothing with food or other things. Uh, I don't know, TV or something. That's understandable. So a way to help see it differently is that the ego's greatest fear is actually boredom and silence. And that is the, that's like the jugular for the ego. It just doesn't want to feel boredom and silence because that's the, that's the fast path to the death of the ego. Because uh, once you starve the ego from entertainment, uh, I mean, the ego particularly likes dense entertainment, alcohol, drugs, sex, uh, validation, all of those uh, extreme things, then it's you're very, very far away from uh, um, uh, from the infinite silence and grace and love of God. So <clears throat> the ego's really got you uh into total darkness if you're into addictions if you can let go of the addictions then if you're on your head all the time the ego's still laughing uh because the, you're still addicted to your thinking I mean, it's probably going to be negative most of the day so it's, you're still pretty bad um now as long as you keep thinking and, and keep doing stuff to distract you thoughts and watching tv and eating donuts no, I'm just making jokes here. I mean, it could be whatever it is, you know, Big Macs or whatever it is. Even, you know, uh, and um, it's still got you. Uh, actually, in fact, the, it doesn't want to feel silence. It do, and it will just tell you, if you try and be silent, it will tell you I'm bored. I want to put the TV and eat some donuts or I want to put on a good film. Um, because it's, um, you've got to understand that your ego lives by it being entertained. Uh, if you stop the entertainment, it's going to die, and it's going to go into silence, and it's going to be st it's going to be starved of its uh, addictions, which is um, it doesn't want silence. And boredom is if you go through the boredom, boredom is withdrawal. If you're in twelve step addiction, the best way to look at boredom and silence is its withdrawal from your ego. So that's the way to see it differently. It's like, oh, how do I go through withdrawal from my ego? The last withdrawal. The last with the withdrawal is you've got to sit with boredom and not act out on it. So I'm bored, meaning your ego is bored. I mean, your infinite self, the infinite light and radiance of what you really are is never bored. But uh, your ego doesn't want it, you to experience that and live in that ever-present love and joy for the rest of eternity so it will complain if you're getting close to that infinite love inside it will complain oh, i'm bored don't be bored don't be bored uh, put eat some donuts and put some tv on and uh, order some booze you know this i mean you don't want to be bored so boredom uh so if you've been in 12-step groups any 12-step group you realize you've got to do withdrawal and withdrawal is a good thing I mean, withdrawal is a difficult thing. So everyone who's been through withdrawal will tell you it's worth it. So the positive way is to see every hour I sit with the boredom and don't act out on it. I resist the donuts. I resist the TV. I'm going through a stack of boredom, which means I'm getting closer to that ever-present love. So you see it positively. Oh, well, I'm going to just do some withdrawal now for three hours. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do withdrawal. Well, I can only do like 10 minutes of boredom withdrawal today. Fine. But tomorrow I'm going to do like 12 minutes of sitting in boredom. All right. Now, when you're getting to hour, you know, half an hour, an hour of being bored without eating the donuts and putting the TV on, you know, you're you're undoing the stack. You've only got so much boredom you have to sit with before you get to the ever present love. So let's say an addict might have, sorry to sound a bit discouraging, let, let's say it's um, five, 500 hours of boredom. 
you know, uh, you got to sit through. And once you've done this 500 hours, you're going to get to states of bliss and ecstasy. All right, so it's finite. But if every time you sit with the boredom, you eat donuts and watch Netflix and start uh, reading a book, um, you're never going to get through that stack. Um, and if you eat donuts, you're actually getting, you know, making it not 500 hours, you're making it 501 hours of boredom you'll have to sit through. You're actually increasing the stack. So if you stop the using and then start going through the boredom, which is withdrawal, uh, you can start working through your 500 hours. And once you get to the 500 hours of, of let's call the boredom is withdrawal. You have to, how can you, miracle is to see it positively. You don't see boredom as just like never ending uselessness. No, boredom is like, you know, you're, you're getting towards enlightenment now. Yeah, you've starved yourself of every gross addiction. You've stopped the alcohol, the booze, the donuts. You've stopped now the thinking. Uh, I'm going to entertain with myself with thinking nonstop. Now your ego's going, no, no, don't do this. Yeah, I'm uh, okay. Boredom. Don't do boredom. Don't do boredom. Get some donuts and start thinking. Uh, how are you going to kill that guy and you know get even and uh, and where are you going to buy your next bag of donuts from? So no, no, no. I'm actually going to do some withdrawal from boredom today. Every day I'm going to do some withdrawal, and um, and then I'm going getting closer to that infinite, ever present joy. What am I meant to be in this world? You know, living in the light, living in love, the sunlight of the spirit, conscious contact with God, and being a light to the world, or just living in my ego, eating do eating donuts and watching Netflix. You know, I had a near death experience, uh, and uh, you have a a rerun of your life, like a moral inventory before, and it's like, oh, I decided not to go through the boredom. I decided to eat donuts for the rest of my life. You know, it's not that great. You know, I, I sort of chose, I chose donuts over, over being who I could really be. So that's the positive way. I encourage everyone to sit with boredom as a form of withdrawal. Don't entertain yourself with thinking and how you're going to kill people or where you're going to buy your donuts. Don't actually eat the donuts. Uh, you know, I'm not saying like torture yourself too much. I mean, even if you do 20 minutes or half an hour of boredom, um, you're, you're doing well. So if, if your temptation is donuts and Netflix, then all right, you can start gently. Every day I'm going to do 20 minutes of boredom without reaching for the donuts and the Netflix. And then the next, after a week, try 25 minutes. And then after another week, try 30 minutes. And then after another week, try uh, 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening of sitting with boredom. And sort of see it positively. See it like, okay, it's a stack. And once I get through all the boredom, uh, you know, I'm going to get to bliss and peace. You know, I don't need to think. I don't need to eat donuts. I don't need to. You get through the big addictions, then you have to get through the small addictions like uh, donuts and Netflix, and then you uh, and thinking. And the thinking is the last one. So the ego will go. I got to. I got to think. I got to eat donuts. I got to do something useful. Why don't I? Why don't I? Um, uh, do go do gardening rather than sit with the boredom actually you're making greater spiritual progress to sit with the boredom rather than do the gardening now um so that's the way i think of it like boredom is just another stack it's like going through drug withdrawal it's just like going through um food withdrawal it's just it's actually going through a deeper layer of withdrawal to get to more advanced levels of consciousness so that's the positive way um to, and that's how to see it you don't have to be productive uh you know uh your ego will say no you've got to be productive don't sit with the boredom productivity is the boredom is the fastest way to god once you're connected to the infinite light trust me uh that's far better than trying to be productive in your head um all right so i'm gonna um yeah i'm gonna stop recording press stop